Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Hank Denson, and you're watching Comedy Insight. And who was the first person to take me on the road? Woo! Drew Thomas. Comedian Drew Thomas. Yup. Uh, you can look him up. Funny dude. He's still actually touring. And we actually are not, he's not old, super older than me or nothing like that. He was just like, yo, you think you want to do some, like, I was already touring. Like, I was doing shows with headliners here and there, but nobody was like, come and do a couple of dates with me. And I was like, all right. So yeah, we did Myrtle Beach. It was uh, Tuesday through Sunday. I remember it like it was yesterday. Where's my favorite place to perform? Um, anywhere where they sent, give me a deposit. Um, <laughs> anywhere, uh, I would say I, like, I love performing in Ohio. Anywhere in Ohio, Cleveland, Cincinnati, um, you know, Columbus, because those people work, man. That's a hard working, hard society. So they they don't really want to be there. Everybody come in for plaid shirts, flannel. I mean, it smell like motor oil a little bit. Yo, yeah, because they really, really don't want to be there. Um, man, hometown Springfield, Massachusetts. Um, I don't know. It was some bar and grill. Um. So, no, 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 no. Dude, it was my brother who used to be a DJ. Spring, Connecticut, Boston, all that. And he was like, yo, the dudes from um, Def Jam, because Def Jam was coming into Massachusetts. Like, um, it was like Freddie Ricks, Mugga, all of them was coming in. And they were always late. He was like, yo, can you do like, you know comedians, man. You'd be like, yo, the show started at 8.30. Everybody come at 8.45. So he was like, yo, do 10.00. Do 15 minutes. I said, I get to drink free? He's like, yeah, you get to drink free. That was my first actual show. Oh, my, the first comedian I saw live, uh, Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson was the first comedian I saw. Put it like that in a club. Like, I don't, I don't include, like, like I said, like, if you're doing a comedy night, I didn't, that didn't feel like comedy. It was like, there's so much stuff going on. They'd be like, oh, there's a comedian here, and there's a microphone in the back. But an actual stand-up club where it was like, oh, they, we were there for comedy.